नमस्ते वेलकम टू ब्लिशॉन कॉन्सेप्ट टीचिंग लेट्स डू द कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्ट अ रेगुलर हेक्सागन ऑफ साइड फाइव सेंटीमीटर लेट एस ड्रॉ अ रफ डायग्राम इट इज अ रेगुलर हेक्सागन लेट एस नेम इट एज ए बी सी डी ई एफ okay regular hexagon means all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal right here they have given the side is 5 cm means since it is regular hexagon each side it measures 5 cm then what about the angles angles are also equal then what is the interior angle of a regular hexagon to find out this let us take the help of the formula measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon and the formula is n minus 2 into 180 degree divided by n here n denotes the number of sides okay in a regular hexagon we have six sides right therefore interior angle of a regular hexagon we know that n is 6 because in a hexagon number of sides is 6 let's substitute this 6 in this formula That is n minus two into one eighty degree divided by n. N is six. Six minus two into one eighty degree divided by six. Six minus two is four. Four into one eighty degree divided by six. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Three ones are three. Three six are eighteen. And zero three sixty is a one eighty. Therefore, two into sixty degree is what one twenty degree. N minus two into one eighty degree divided by n. Six minus two into one eighty degree divided by six. Six minus two is four into one eighty degree divided by six. After cancellation, you will get one twenty degree. It means Each angle in a regular hexagon it measures one twenty degree, right? Now let's start the construction. Draw a line which measures five centimeter. Name this as A B. AB it measures five centimeter. We know that angle A it measures one twenty degree and angle B it measures one twenty degree. So construct one twenty degree at the point A and at the point B. To do this, adjust your compass to any measurement of your choice. Keep the compass at the point A and draw an arc like this. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. We know that it measures sixty degree. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Join this 
and produce a line. It measures 120 degree. Construct an angle 120 degree at the point B. To do this, adjust your compass to any measurement of your choice. Keep the compass at the point B and draw an arc. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Join this and produce a line. You can verify this by using the protractor. It measures 120 degree. It measures 120 degree. Okay. Now, measure 5 cm using the ruler and compass. You can see that it measures 5 cm. Keep the compass at the point A and cut an arc. Keep the compass at the point B and cut an arc. Produce this. Name this as P. Name this point as C. Name this point as F. Name this produced line as Q. And name this point as F. Now, construct 120 degree at the point C and F. We know that to construct 120 degree, we have to adjust our compass to any measurement of our choice. Keep the compass at the point C and draw an arc. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. And remember, this is very important. While cutting this arc, you should not change the measurement of the compass. Okay? Now, produce this line. Name this produced line as R. Now we have to construct 120 degree at the point F. You can adjust your compass to any measurement of your choice. Keep the compass at the point F and draw an arc. Without changing the measurement of the compass, keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Join this and produce a line. Measure 5 cm. It measures 5 cm. Keep the compass at the point C and cut an arc. Keep the compass at the point F and cut an arc. Name this point as D and name this point as E. Join DE. We know that angle B it measures 120 degree, this measures 120 degree and this measures 120 degree. See here. Angle E also it measures 120 degree. Angle D also it measures 120 degree. A, B, C, D, E, F is the required hexagon. A, B, C, D, E, F is the re required 
regular hexagon hope you have understood thank you